Yeah. Sorry about that. I was doing some editing. Hey, it happens, man. <laughs> you got me in my hotel room. Where you at? Oh, we're at the uh, the beach, Anna Maria Island. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, beach when, in, in July. Nice. You on vacation too? No, nah, it's just my day off. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Battling this head cold, freaking killing me, man. It's yeah. been going for like a week now. Our weather out here in Arizona will make up its fucking mind. And like one day it's like 87, and then it drops down to like 63, and there's wind, and then there's no wind, and I'm in a tow truck all freaking day, and the dust and the pollen, and fucking sucks. What are you taking to battle against it, or are you just roughing it? Taking the Allegra during the day because I drive a tow truck, so I can't really take anything good. Yeah. Right. I, I put a Benadryl in me last night. And I think I laid down and I went to go set my alarm on my phone. And then I woke up at like 2.30 this morning with my phone in my hand still. I'm like, shit. Hey, that's what Benadryl does. <laughs> if, you, if you let that kick in, you're not going to remember that it kicked in until you, woke, until you wake up. I'm taking another one tonight. That was, I only took a half of one last night. Yeah. But. Yeah, you take a full one. I think it's good for about eight hours, solid, uninterrupted, unless something like drastically happens while you're sleeping. Well, the my problem is my work schedule, and I've had it for years now. Like they call it sleep elite. Yeah, real or not, but I literally work on like three to four hours of sleep a day. Yeah. Like I just lay down and unless I take something like I did last night, I'm just. Yeah. And then I finally fall asleep and I wake up at two 30 in the morning for work and I've been doing it for so long. I got the internal alarm clock. It's like, hey, you're supposed to be up. I'm like, it's my fucking day off. It's like, we don't, we don't really care. It's time to get right. up. <laughs> <laughs> that alarm clock's like, dude, I don't care. Get up. Like, come on, get up. Get yourself coffee. It's supposed to start moving. Let's go. <laughs> and when I had a regular schedule, my son was, he was younger. He was like three, four, five. And on his, on my days off, sitting there sleeping. And then all of a sudden, it's just. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. yeah. So like, you've never been left alone. Yeah. You've never been. <laughs> fucking morning. <laughs> many learned how to use the remote to the tv so i got a little bit of extra time he just never figured out the volume button oh that's probably <laughs> it. i mean was that good or bad was it stuck on loud or was it stuck on too quiet it was loud loud yeah, like a movie theater dude my kid, your mike 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 <laughs> like the kid is weird, but it's such a good weird. Like, he is such a good kid. He drives me fucking crazy, but he's a good kid. But, like, he'll come out here. He still does it to this day. And, like, now he's kind of more into video games and his tablet and stuff. But when he was younger, man, we're like, there's so much garbage on this TV right now that we don't want him to get involved with. But we'd walk out. Like, he'd wake up super early and come out here with his blankie and pillows and stuff. And, We'd walk out, and he's out here watching some documentary on dinosaurs or lizards and snakes, and we're just like, but, all right. <laughs> Going back to bed. <laughs> right? <laughs> Nothing wrong. Like, I'd rather him watch this than half the fucking cartoons they got on right now. Yeah, right. It, I mean, it depends. You, uh, you walk out, and you see a document, you know, a documentary on, like, freaking Jeffrey Dahmer. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn this shit off. No, that's the wife. Right? Oh yeah, what? I mean, come on. Why? Why are girls infatuated with murders and all that shit? Because if they didn't educate themselves, they get caught. All you have to do is ask my wife what she did, and if she makes up a lie, you're going to know. Oh, she sucks at it. Right? Yeah. My kid does too. 
Yeah, but what? see, they watch they watch those they watch those documentaries about them getting about like you know uh, good ones getting caught, the ones that were good at what they did getting caught, and then it te- and then it makes them realize it's not a good idea. So they don't do it. Dude, we'd be dead if women didn't watch those. If those weren't readily available, men would be dead. It's just the way it is. Because then they wouldn't know it was a bad idea. And they would just become the next one. That's true. Been with mine for... 16 years married this October. Good God. For... 18 years now. Is that why all the hair went south? Dude, this shit started running away from my face when I was like 17. It sucked. I didn't, I never really gave into it. I started getting the bad, you know, receding hairline and everything. And I think I was, I think it was like 21, 22, and we were at Disneyland. And we went down Splash Mountain, and they take your picture. And I'm headed down like this, and we go down there, and we look at the picture. I'm like, looking at my family, and I look at the picture, I look at my family, and they're like, what? I'm like, you fucking assholes don't say shit about I mean, it was like fucking this fucking big. Yeah. You guys, seriously? I just stormed off. They're like, where are you going? I'm like, fuck you. Went to the first little kiosk I saw, and I was like, give me that fucking hat. Right. You bought a hat? I'm like, yeah, I bought a hat. It's like, I'm fucking 22 years old. 7-Elevens in California sell hair clippers, by the way. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, I've, I've got myself a good pair. I uh, I had to go and get... Uh, the professional grade that they use at like barber shops, because when I would go to Walmart and buy just a regular pair, my hair would chew through it. I've got like horse, I've got like horse hair. Like that, it, like if I were to shave my beard and make a brush out of it, it's what they would let you know. Fucking, you you have a knot in your hair, that's what you would use. This is so rough. Growing this out the way you have yours, I would cut people with it. I just gotta get one of them straighteners because like mine this this side grows down and then this side grows this way so it's like like how do you take care of that i can't even like this is so itchy i can't even imagine it being any bigger that's because you're in the transition stage like you you have to like when i first started growing mine out and i shaved it off like five times i was like i, I can't fucking do it and then i finally just just get through it. Like once you get to about two inches, it's fine. Put some put some oil in it. You can get one of those uh, those uh, heater combs, like I got, and straightens it out. Makes it all wavy. <laughs> makes me pretty, right? But hey, then you can just say that you didn't lose the hair on your head. It just went down to your beard, right? Your I'm your beard sucked it out. Of- yeah. Your beard just sucked it out. I'm just glad I have a decently shaped head. Right? Um, I mean, I'm losing mine right here. You see that right there? So I've got this little, like, friggin' whatever you want, love patch or whatever the hell you want to call this thing. And then right here is where it's all that line right there. I got one, like, right here that just won't quit on me. Mm. He, He always sprouts back out, like, fuck you! Right, but you got that one Charlie Brown hair. Like, I won't quit you. <laughs> Are you gonna twist it too? What's that? Do you do the corkscrew with it? No. So like curls. Boink. No, I. I got that that skull shaver that I made a couple of videos for. Yeah. And I was I was talking with the guy, or the company, or whoever does their little website on TikTok. I made a joke because they got all these pretty boys on there. It's like, hey, let's see how it works. I'm like, it's not even entertaining, man. Right. Said, the, the shaver is legit. It's awesome. Like, I already had one at the time, and I send a message. I'm like, send me the accessories, and I'll make you some fucking videos. 
right. then they sent me their brand new one and i was like fuck yeah and they're like just make us three videos and we're square and i'm like done so i started making them and he messaged me back and he's like hey we want to sponsor you i'm like fuck yeah hell yeah <laughs> cool and they're like we're gonna you know give you this amount and this and this is what we want i'm like i can do that i said they're all gonna be like seven to twelve second videos but i'm in yeah hell yeah and we were talking back and forth they're like we're we're drawing up a contract and this and that and nothing like huh a week ago and i'm like so what's the deal dude and I'm like, oh, you know, everything's in limbo right now. Everything's on a freeze. I'm like, okay, well, then I'll stop because I've been making them because they wanted, he wanted one a day. Yeah. I was like, fuck. It's like, it doesn't sound like much, but you got a full time job. You got the family at home. You got the kid to entertain. I was like, it, a seven second video can take, you know, a while to make. Yeah. Especially with me, because I'm such a OCD crackhead when it comes to my editing. I try and make it as perfect as I possibly can. I've always admired that because I don't edit anything. Like, even when this video goes up, it won't be edited. So if there's like glitches in the video or like one of us gets tongue tied, it doesn't get, if I, <laughs> take the phone and I move around the uh, the uh, hotel to ch- make sure the kids are napping or go check on my wife. You know, if she got run over by a car out there or something, I don't edit any of that. You At least see the camera moving. Shit. I mean, I might look through the window to check on her. I don't know if I'll bother opening the door. You still breathing? <laughs> Knock on the window. Yeah, it looks like she's moving. All right, I'm going to go sit back. <laughs> like, which one? Maybe, maybe. I don't see any red. You, I don't see any red. Are you good? Answer me. I'm doing something. <laughs> the door's too you, heavy. I don't want to open it. It's all the way over there. <laughs> what, are, what are you? What, what are you on? Are you on vacation? Yeah. Where you get? What are you guys doing? Uh, well, let's see. Yesterday, we just grabbed a because we the the hotel room has a kitchen, so we decided that like. Because we're lazy. Like, both of us work early in the morning. So, it's, you know, we're not getting up that early. The animals are at home with a sitter. So, and our kids are here with us. But we got breakfast food. So, we'll make it here. And then after that, they eat lunch and they take their nap. And then we stroll down to the beach or walk around and do whatever we're doing. But it's basically like we brought them along so they could go to the beach. But really, we came here just to do nothing. That's like the best vacation ever. Yeah, I've yeah. never, I've never really understood the itinerary vacations. I don't get that. I have a schedule already. Why am I going to pay to have another one? I don't <laughs> understand. Exactly. Like my dad's the same way. Cause uh, like when my stepmom itinerary, just a list of shit. So like, we go on a, I go with my dad and my stepmom and my sister, we go out on a vacation. And while we're on the plane, my stepmom is, okay, we're going to land, then we're going to do this, then we're going to do this, then we're going to do this. My dad and I look at each other and we're like, look, when we land, first, we're going to get off the plane. Then we're going to go to baggage claim. Then we're going to, you know, get the shuttle to our hotel room. Then we're going to load our shit into our hotel room. And then we're going to lay the fuck down. And we'll get up when we're ready. Like, <laughs> like we just got off the plane. Now you want us to go do this, that, and the third? No. We're going to have someone bring our food to us. And we're going to eat like pigs in the room we just paid for. Right. Yeah, we uh, we just recently, the last, last year, we started doing vacations with my sister and brother-in-law. Yeah, and uh, I got a nephew that's the same age as my son, so they're keeping each other occupied, and we're like, right? Yeah, just kick back, man. No, go. Fuck you yeah. guys. Fucking go. Get out of here. <laughs> we went. We went last year. We we got a an Airbnb in Riverside, California, and it was such a 
oh my god this guy he was real good with his description of his airbnb yeah get there and it's a fucking add-on to his home it's like a it's like a shotgun two-story like apartment yeah attached to his home and we get there we're like what the fuck is this right and the guy comes out and he's like yeah this and that i'm like dude you didn't say it was attached to your house like our, we're all jazzed up he's like there's a pool we've got a kitchen we got all this other stuff we're like heck yeah we yeah. get and they're having a birthday party in the backyard <laughs> The very next day, the and it's an older couple. The the next day, the the wife, she's out in the pool with her water aerobics team, with their little like, like I know we came here to go to the beach, but shit, man, like they had a really nice pool. It's like I could have woke up, jumped in the pool, got you know woke myself up. Yeah, I go outside and I'm like, hi, like come on in. I'm like. You can go fuck yourself. Like, no. <laughs> like, it's like, is this a YMCA too? What are we doing here? So you right. guys get water weights and everything. Hi. Like, hey, hey, how are you? Come on in. Yeah, no. <laughs> so you gotta like, you gotta like leave, leave your portion to go into the kitchen, and then like the dude standing there in his robe and his underwear, and like. No, nah, yeah, it was a it was a small like galley style kitchen. It had a microwave and a stove. That was it. Oh, okay, but like the shit looked like it belonged in an RV. <laughs> they just ripped it out and put it in there. <laughs> so, like we got we got to the last day and we're all sitting on the beach and we're like, all right, we're gonna leave in the morning. And I was like, hey, um. I'm talking to my brother-in-law and I'm like, I really enjoy coming with you guys. You know, everybody pulls in, the boys get to play and stay out of our hair. And so we need to do better research for next time. Yeah. Like we, we both started as soon as we got back and we found this place back in Riverside, but it is literally you walk out on their back deck and then there's the boardwalk where everybody roller skates and skateboards and shit. It's right there. And yeah. then there's the sand. It's like, it's like how yeah, much is that? Oh, right. Like, and my brother in law works for Concentra, so he makes some money. And yeah. I'm sitting here like, I'm a fucking tow truck driver, dude. <laughs> He's like, well, you just pay what you can. I'm like, I'm not okay. poor. What the fuck, man? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, not poor, but goddamn. I, I have money because I don't spend my money. Right? Not like but, that, anyway. But we found this. It's a kick-ass place. It's three-bedroom, two-bath, right on the beach. We don't have to fucking drive nowhere. Yeah. We're like, this will work. This will work. So we got the right. spot this year, but. So we found the spot, and then the wife's like, okay, what are we going to do? What do you want to go do when we're there? I'm like, Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's like I took, I'm, I'm off for like 10 days in a row, and I only had to spend five days worth of PTO. It's like, yeah. I'm, I don't want to do shit. It's like, well, we got to go do something. No, we don't. <laughs> No, we don't. You know what we got to do? We got to eat and we got to sit on the beach and get and, and, and maybe get drunk before we get there because usually beer is not allowed on the beach. And then get sunburnt, go back to the hotel and bitch that you're sunburnt, drink a little more, pass out. That's all you got to do. I know, man. We got the, the sun pop up. The, you got the, I got them. I call them vagina chairs. They like roll up in a little sleeping bag and you sit there and you catch the air. And then yeah. you roll up. And I got two of those. Those are comfy as shit. Just like, Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I could sleep on this all day. <laughs> and it's like, it's like if you took 
Remember when you were a kid, they had those those water thingies? Yeah. Like, so it's like a huge one of those with air instead of water, and then it just folds over itself and creates this yeah. vagine, if you will. And you could take it out into the ocean. Like, Oh, I, I bet they designed that shape on purpose. Come on, man. You got to open it by throwing it into the wind. <laughs> then it's comfortable to sit on. You have to unravel it. You have to unravel it, yeah. The lips got to catch the air, man. I sleep like a baby. <laughs> yeah, and then it's difficult to get out of. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do the same shit, though. Like, we're going we're gonna to take our eggs. I'm going to make a huge bucket of pancake mix. You just add milk to it. And yeah. Like, breakfast is here. Like, like breakfast is there, and then if you want to eat, you know, like it, breakfast is there. Maybe even lunch, depending on when you want to leave the hotel. And then the dinner, so close, right? And then if she does want to go out, that's what dinner is for. Exactly. Go out, go out, see some shit when you're trying to pick the restaurant you want to eat at. Go, you know, that's when you go. Picking yeah. restaurants. That's uh, that's why I'm. That's why I'm glad that I'm I'm with her because she she's the same way. I, like when when I was booking the hotel because I had to force her to take a vacation. I I kind of had to strong arm her because my wife's a seven days a week, all day every day worker. She doesn't stop. I um, am too. I and, like money. It, yeah, I mean it was it had uh, four months straight without a break is is basically what she did. Like the only time she got a break is when her boss was like, "Hey, it's Christmas, go home." Um, and then the diner that she works at, the main waitress there ended up uh, doing something stupid and getting herself fired. My wife was still too new to be the waitress on that busy of a day, so the owner was like, "Hey, we're closing today." That was two days off in four months. I was like, no. So this vacation isn't for me, and it's not for them. It's for her. So I told her, and I asked her, I was like, do you want to go to, um, you know, get a hotel at, like, Universal? She said no, because just talking about it sounded exhausting. I was like, okay, what about a hotel right on the beach? And she's like, what do you mean on the beach? I said, on the, like, you, on the beach. Like, you go out your front door, you take a right turn, and the path to the beach is right there. And, like, all that cold air from the ocean is covered by all those trees and that giant hedge that they have there. And you're just kind of tucked in. So we got this place. Nice. Yeah. But, like, and and I knew coming out here was good because Anna Maria Island is literally like an isolated island. Like, there is no boardwalk here. There's no little shops here. There's no music here. It's just quiet. It's like where old people go to die. This is the best place on the west coast to go if you want a quiet beach day it's not amazing. a whole lot it's not there's no noise here our like the, the the front door to the hotel is open right now there's no noise it's there's nothing and these are not uh noise canceling sperm drops there's nothing going on here sperm drops yeah <laughs> sperm drops that's what i always call them I can't do those things, man. They hurt my ears. After a while, yeah. I only use them for this. Because, uh, like, after after doing one or two of these, I'm like, yeah, fucking, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I got, I got these ones to help when I record because I can keep the microphone closed so I'm not screaming at the damn phone. But yeah, I, I just drape them around my neck and... Tuck them in my shirt. My beard hides it. I hate them. On vacuuming day, I steal my wife's big old uh, JBL headphones. Oh, dude, one of your most one one of your most recent ones because I don't I don't really do uh, I don't go on TikTok anymore. But when I invite someone on here, uh, and they, and we, you know, and we book it. I'll go and I'll watch, and I've been watching your videos, obviously you and uh, yours and then Joker's, um, the one that you guys share, I've been watching all those, but one of your recent ones had me dying. 
the one where the girl was crying about being in the ditch. And then it cut to you, and you're just like, just drive out. Like, the fuck? Just drive out of it. (laughs) But the thing is, as a tow truck driver, I've had that call fucking dozens of times. Like, I, I ran over something, and now I hear something dragging. Yeah, your uh, splash guards kind of dragging. But what do I do? There you go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> there you go. What'd you do? I said, I pushed it back in. It. Well, what is that going to do? Fine. Let's go. Let's tow this for no fucking reason. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> like, hey, job security, man. You want to pay the bill? Fine. <laughs> I have when COVID hit like I'm pretty sure that me the wife and the kid had COVID December of 2019 they they got sick but not too bad and I got real sick yeah but I go to the doctor oh it's not strep it's not this not we have no idea what it is here's an inhaler and a z-pack see you later I'm like okay and I take sick days for when I have something fun to go do. So I just fucking went back to work. And I got over it after about a month. And then COVID hit. And then the shutdowns were being talked about. And all this other stuff. My wife's freaking out. She's like, what are we going to do? I'm like, we're going to go to fucking work. It's like, what, what, they're going to shut everything down. I'm like, they're going to shut down stupid shit. I said, like, you work at an animal hospital. You're... Fucking essential. Yeah. I tow cars and you could set the world on fire and I'm still going to be required to be at work Monday morning. Yeah. My job is life. You can't, you can't cancel my job. It's like, I, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it forever, but I'm going to be able to do it. As long as there's cars. Yeah. As long as there's cars, you're out there. And then you and then you get the stupid uh, question of like, well, what are you gonna do when they're self driving cars? And like, go pick them up when they break. The shit's gonna break down, guys. Yeah. Like nothing's perfect. Even flying cars are gonna crash. You're gonna have to go tow those. Self driving cars are gonna fucking tow like no truck run out of. Yeah. Right. Flying tow. There's always going to be a vehicle for you to throw on that flatbed and tow somewhere. Well, especially always. the way they make them these days. They're all garbage. Yeah. They're absolute garbage. But do you um, do you work for a company or is it your own? A AAA. Okay. Yep. Right. Yeah, I used to work. I used to work for a different company, and that's where I learned how to do all the towing stuff. Um, but I, I've done private property impounds, repossessions, the, all the, like our biggest account at the original company I worked for, our biggest account was Phoenix PD. And it was yeah. like a $14 million a year contract. So we did all of their calls, all yeah, the accidents, yeah. all the DUIs, all everything, even towing their cruisers for them. So I learned now, especially with all the accidents, how to how to manipulate that tow truck and do some sketchy shit with them. But I come over to AAA and I had to train for two days just to learn how to use their computer. The first night we're out there and I'm like, so now what? It's like, <laughs> I time to go home. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? We've only been here for eight hours. He's like, yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. What? Are you serious? Like, yeah. What the fuck am I supposed to do with the rest of my day? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Go home. I'm like, do what? <laughs> right? <clears throat> what were you used to? 12s or more? I was scheduled for 12s. Okay. But my average was about... 14. My longest day was 19 and a half hours. All hourly, right? Yeah. 
Well, at the last place, it was it was the minimum wage hourly and then commission after that. Okay. Yeah. So to, you were used to all that overtime, technically. Yeah. yeah. And, and then I switch over to AAA, and I'm like, so what, what do you guys got for overtime? He's like, uh, nothing. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, once summer hits, you guys get a lot of overtime. And I was like, all right, cool. So summer hits, I'm like, okay, what, where, where are we at? And they're like, uh, 55 hours. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with the rest of the time? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like, what? I, I, like, you, like, hold on, hold on. You guys expect me to go home and, like, do shit? Like, I don't get there. I, like, I leave when people are sleeping. I go home when people are sleeping. What am I supposed to do if I walk through that door and they're still awake? What do I do? <laughs> you fucking go home to them. Right? <laughs> is yeah. it the, like, is it the same, is it the same pay or did you take a huge cut because of that? At first I took a huge, I took about half cut. God damn. But what happened was the company I was working for, the manager, we were owned by a corporation. That corporation owned tow companies all over the United States. In Arizona alone, they owned three. Okay. We were all kind of together as a group, but we had, we had three different company trucks, but we were all the same company. But the manager got, in, got a hold of a corporate, and he's like, hey, I've been with you guys for this long. I want you to hire me under the corporation and I'm going to stay here and do the same job. And they're yeah. like, no. Mm -hmm. and, okay. And then the next thing we know, and I, and that time I'd been there for about five years and the whole five years, we were the only company that handled the Phoenix police department calls. Yeah. And as soon as they told him, no, the bid for the contract came up for PD and he went way high and we lost it. Yeah. So it's like, we're doing great. Everybody's making money. We just lost a $14 million a year contract. Because some asshat decided to get greedy about his position. Yeah. And it took like four days for corporate to call up and say, you guys aren't making us money anymore. We're going to close the doors. So. God. Like, four like, days like get let your guys know we're we're get we're gearing up to close the doors and they went through four group firings we were i don't even know we had like 200 something drivers we went through four group hirings like they brought them into the rooms like sorry guys like fuck but i, I got a phone i got a phone call one day on my way back from I was I was way out there, but I was on my way back and the boss calls up and he's like, Hey, do you like working here? And I was like, Yeah, why? Do I need to be in the next meeting? He's like, No, I'm offering you a job. Do you want it? I was like, Absolutely. He's like, Cool. And that was it. And after that, we lost uh insurance account after insurance account. Uh, rental car account we just started losing every single fucking contract we got and they kept firing people and i just got to the point where i was like i'm fucking out of here before i get blindsided yeah called up triple a set up the the uh interview sat down with them i said i can drive this i can drive that i've done this i've done this i've done that they're like fine we know, <laughs> we know you know what you're doing He's like, we've, yeah. we've gotten a bunch of people from that company want to come over. He's like, our problem is, is scheduling. I was like, right. He's like, what days off do you need? And I was like, well, at this point in time, and this was eight and a half years ago. Yeah. Yeah, eight and a half years ago. I was like, at this point in time, I need like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. And they looked at me like, are you are you serious? Are you, are you messing with me? Like, no, I need I need some weekdays off. Like Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday would be great. And they're like, you're okay to work weekends? I'm like, oh yeah. 
Yeah. When can you start? What shift do you want? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I put my dues in, and now my my actual set schedule is Monday through Thursday, 4 a.m. to 2 p.m. Nice. Well, I got the golden schedule. <laughs> nice. But I, I usually pick up Sundays during the summer and every other Saturday during the summer if they'll let me. Like, they won't, they can't afford to pay me what I'm willing to work. Yeah. Like, if it's busy, you get out there, your day goes by, it feels like you've been out there for like three, four hours. Yeah. But you're looking at a 12 hour day and you're like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Here, it's way higher hourly. I still don't make enough, but I don't think you ever do. But, I get hourly, and now I'm on a point system where I get a commission, too. So it's like. Yeah, like, you got to pick your battles, I guess. I bet you, I bet when you were doing the, um, those PD runs, you saw some shit out there. Not just ways that you had to park your truck, but I bet you saw some dealing with accidents, DUIs. Like, I bet, oh, hey, what's your, um. Because I've seen those videos before. I don't even know how to phrase it. But what's like the the weirdest repossession you ever had? I've heard of people like laying underneath the tires so you can't take their car. Has that shit ever happened to you? No. Or do they usually just let you do it? Like, is that all uh, Hollywood made up crap or do people actually oh, do it? Uh, every All that bullshit you see on TV is uh, it's exactly that. It's bullshit. Um, there was did you have you seen any of those repo shows i the only repo show i've ever seen is the one where they would actually ask trivia questions um and if they got the answers right they got to keep their car it's at there and lower it a little bit here and there uh, yeah. yeah there was there was another one it was it was like a reality show and it had this big burly lady her name was I, her name was bernice and so there's a scene where they pull up in front of this car parked in a handicap spot inside a parking garage. And so they can't get out. <clears throat> but the new guy was driving, so he didn't pull up far enough so they could still get out. And Bernice is out there. She's a big, burly black lady, dreadlocks and everything. And there's yeah. two little, I think it was Miami repo or some shit like that. And there's two stupid skinny little blondes. And they're like, you're not taking shit. And they're like, oh, I am too. And they get in the car. And like, you can't take it with us in it. And so Bernice walks around the car. And she's writing down stuff on her notepad. And they put it in reverse. And they bump into her. And she falls out the second story opening of a parking garage. God damn. And they take off. And they get down to the gate. The gate's down. The guy pulls up behind them so they can't back up. He gets out and he tells the guy, do not let them out. Their car's getting repossessed. <clears throat> and they're screaming at each other. And then the camera pans over and here comes Bernice. Just <laughs> she walks up, punches the driver window with a fist, shatters the window, grabs a girl by her hair, pulls her out of the car. And then the other girl jumps out. She gets in the car and they drive off. My mom sent me that video clip with the caption, you better be careful out there. I can't believe you have to deal with this on a daily basis. And that was all staged, wasn't it? I was like, she fell out of the second story opening of a fucking parking garage. And she was like 300 pounds. We don't bounce it that way. She no. was getting. I don't even know what to say to you right now, woman. This is ridiculous. It's like, oh, okay, mom, sure thing. <laughs> but no, that's all bullshit. I did. I I didn't get into repossessions till the last three years of my my career with those other guys, yeah. and in those three years, I caught I got caught once. And the only reason I got caught is because I took a flatbed out. The guy took out uh, one of them payday loans on his 50 she 57 Chevy pickup. Yeah. It wasn't 
cherry or anything, but it was it was nice. It was decent, and I didn't want to mess it up. Yeah. I get out there, I pull it up, and I'm having to drag it up because it's all locked up, but I did it all nice and neat. And He comes around. I'm on one side of the truck. He comes running around screaming and swearing at me. And as soon as he turns the corner, he's like, hey, that's that's my truck. <laughs> was, this was a while. And so eight, nine, 10, 11 years ago, I was not as fat. I was a little bit more fit, freshly shaved head, beard, tattoos, piercings. And I was about, I don't know, foot and a half, two foot taller than he was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, right <laughs> he went around that corner like he was gonna do something that he saw you and was like uh never mind <laughs> like ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he argued with me for about two minutes and then he went inside and gave me the key and i was like dude just go pay your thing get your truck back it's fucking simple right like i'm just doing my job right but every other repossession that i did and like i get it all it's like that stuff's scary you get shot at and i was like not if you're fucking good at it no i, I mean before you even know what the hell happened right like what most of them you probably did early early two three o'clock in the morning when they're like sleeping early should be yep they don't and even the know what the, the hell day, happened rest of the day we're out scouting like yeah. the trucks cameras on them and the cameras, the front cameras would, would angle out uh, to the side of the truck. And then the yeah. back cameras would angle in towards the front of the truck, but at an angle. So as you're driving down the road, it's shooting pictures at license plates to see who's up for repo. And it yeah. would alert us on the, on the computer. And then there was the other times I did it five times where, because I'm not a complete asshole. Right. But you run into situations where you you oh shit, there's a car for re there it is, cool. And you start following them, they pull into the <clears throat> the uh the supermarket to get groceries and shit, and they start pulling out kids out of the car. You're just like fuck. Right. So because usually, you know, you stay back and you wait for them to go inside and you roll in there, hook it and book it. But I'm like, I can't I can't do that. She's got kids with where he's got right. his kid. So I roll up right behind him and just they turn around like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, come here. And what? He's like, you know why I'm here? He's like, yeah. And I was like, here's here's the card with my phone number on it. You have two hours. Get your shit done. Get the kids home to where they're safe. You better call me. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I get out of the truck and I walk around and I look at the car and verify everything. And I was like, I found you. You know why I'm here. And four out of the five times they called. Yeah. Like, they, I get there and they're like, here's the keys. I'm going to pay it next week when I get paid. I'm like, hey, I appreciate you calling me. Thank you. It's like, thanks for not leaving us stranded with groceries. <laughs> okay. And like did I said, you have, four, did you have to chase down that fifth one? It's, it's actually a good story. Here we go. <laughs> so, Let's do it. <laughs> four, four to the five called back and everything was fine. The fifth one was this dude and he had a Jeep uh, Cherokee and he was dropping off or he had his kids with him and I pulled up behind him and I was like, dude, he's like, uh, I. I come, I'm like, listen, here's a spiel. Do your thing. You have two hours. Call me. He's like, I, I swear to God, thank you for not just grabbing our car. We got this to do. And it's like, it's my kid's birthday next week or getting on. I'm like, fine. Two hours goes by. I got nothing. Like, okay. Three hours goes by. I still got nothing. I give him a call. Nothing. Okay, driving around, driving around. Like, I'll call him one more time. I'll call him, he picks up. Who's this? I'm like, oh, this is John with the tow truck company. Um, 
you were supposed to call me two hours ago. Yeah. He's, he's like, I guess you should have taken it when you had the chance, huh? He's like, oh. I was like, well, yeah, after you said that, I, I think I kind of should. He's like, well, you lost your opportunity. I was like, so just to recap, um, I gave you a chance and you, you're just going to completely screw me on this. He's like, hey, you found it once, you can find it again, right? And I was like, absolutely. I just trying to make it easy on you. He's like, well, good luck. Then cusses me out and hangs up the phone. I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting in the truck. And then I start laughing. Because every time I did that, I'd get out of the truck and I got to verify that that's the vehicle I'm looking for and check the VIN, look to see yeah. if there's any damage around it and stuff. And uh, he, hang, he hangs up the phone on me and, okay. And I'm laughing. I'm just looking across the street because I'm staring at him while I'm talking to him on the phone. <laughs> was, we, had, we had little trackers yeah and as i walk around the cars put a the tracker up it's been a while. Right. Um, like, you're so fucked dude so he goes into the gym give it about five minutes rip, gone <laughs> we can take the car <laughs> like like it's literally that man like when you're a good tow truck driver like you're especially in the smaller ones where the boom comes down and stuff, all yeah. those controls are inside the truck. Yeah. Like, yeah, like a remote control. It's like playing a video game. It's like, Rrr. got it. Gone. gone. Like, like a minute, maybe two. Yeah. You, you go, just got to lift zigzag. those back wheels and you're gone. Yeah. Yeah. You go zigzag through the neighborhoods and stuff, pull over, put your straps on and you're gone. So about an hour, hour and a half goes by and I get a phone call. I, I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Hello? I call you. <laughs> He's like, "Where's my truck?" I'm like, "Oh, it's at the, uh, the place that that has the lean on." You need to bring that back right now. I was like, "I don't." No, I don't. He's like, "You just left me stranded here." I was like, "You should have fucking called." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Well, which one did you take it to?" I'm like. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, right. It. right? Good luck finding it. You found it once, you can find it again, right? Yeah. Click. <laughs> like, so, yeah, that was the last time I did that. But like, it, was, it was okay. So, you're not okay? Nope. Oh, well, hung up on me. Cool. Click. Yeah. Hmm. See you, bitch. Bye. Right? Like, I'm watching you talk to me, and you don't even know. <laughs> like, one of those oh ones I want to get all, like, scream on her is like, well, you, you're not going to find it. And I was like, yeah, and you look stupid in that fucking shirt. Right? Yeah. But then, of course, that, yeah, that would have screwed everything up. So you just kind of had to hold that part personal. Yeah. And just let him think he got away. Did he ever call you again after that? Like, after the first time? Of course not. Why would he? He lost. <laughs> he had nothing to rub in your face. That is yeah. that is was, funny as shit. I was I was good at repos. It was fun. There's a lot of rules when it comes to repossessions. There's a lot of rules when it comes to impounds. Like mm -hmm. the repossessions were easy. The impounds were the ones that got sketchy. You get there and you're like, "There's the car. I got to get out. I got to verify the VIN. I got to take pictures of every single fucking part of this car." Then I got to call all this information into my dispatcher. Then they have to call all the information into the police department. The police department has to put everything in. And then they give you an impound number. And then my dispatcher relays the impound number to me. And then I can take it. Yeah. And then here, a lot of them were um, apartment complexes. Yeah. People parking in other people's spots, parking in the fire lanes. So you get there, there's nowhere for you to park 30 foot long tow truck. So you're just pretty much parked right there and just like big old diesel engine revving and everyone's poking out their windows like, what the fuck's he doing here? Right. You finally get the, a lot of people just run out and just get in their cars and take off. And it's like, not yours. I, 
I had, <laughs> I had a group of people grab their bikes and they were going out for a ride out in Tempe, which is like the college part of our city. And uh, they're getting the bikes and I had nowhere to park. So I just parked right in front of the building. <clears throat> they're like, hey, man, what's going on? It's like, what's going on? He's like, it's not that blue one, is it? It's like, no, nah, it's a red Honda around the corner. He's like, oh, OK, cool. <laughs> it's a blue one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh-oh. <laughs> Just like, hey, man. I'm like, hey, it's hey, not that no. one, right? No. No, no, no of course not. <laughs> no, no, just just go on back in. You're fine. <laughs> go on back in the building. You're all right. Enjoy your bike ride. Right? And then they come back and the blue one's gone. <laughs> and they finally turn the corner. I'm like, hey, so I just got talked by to the owner of the car. Can I take this or what's going on? Fuck. Right. <laughs> oh man. I mean, was that a whole procedure too? Like, if they uh, if they caught if the owner caught you doing it, or if is they it still you doing it? If I if I had any chain or anything on that car, I was hooked. So they could either pay me whatever the drop fee was, or they pay like triple if I got it to the yard. Yeah nice then but then again like i said there's so many rules like you get there and you're just like you're you know you're pretty much loaded up or you're hooked onto it and <clears throat> people come out and they're just like no, no 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 i'm leaving right now it's like dude i've been here for like 20 minutes i was like you're in a fire lane yeah like, this is my job so you can't park here i was like it's this much to drop it now and then you move it and quit doing this shit or I take it to the yard and it's that. They're like, oh, yeah. I'll pay it, I'll pay it. I said, like, cool, I need your license so I can check it with the registration, make sure it's your car. They're yeah. like, well, it's my buddy's car. And I just fucking zone out after that and I just go right back to work. What are you doing? I said, like, it's not your car. I can't release it to you. Yeah. It's like, where's your buddy at? And he's like, he's not here. I'm like, well, better call him. He's like, hold, hold on, still- call him. I'm like, yeah. You could be calling anybody. It's like, I need a picture ID so I can match it up with the registration and somebody's physical face in front of me. Yeah. You can't. Never, I mean, never yeah. got a gun pulled on me. Never got in a fight. Well, like a, in, in, in this day and age, would you be able to accept FaceTime? I don't know. Is that a because like if they FaceTime you and held their ID up with their face, that's my car. I mean, I'm wondering if that would even be allowed. Like, do they have to physically be there? I would. That's a good question. I don't know. Right. I'm out of the game. Never really came across that one, huh? Oh, I, I bet I bet you ran into some crazy shit out there. Again, like to circle back to the PD calls. I bet you ran into some crazy. I have seen my fair share of the absolute how the fuck did this happen to that's gruesome. Did you ever uh, did you ever get to go out there on one of those calls and see any like drunk bitches fights? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Uh, those are the I best seen, ones, aren't I've they? seen two girls trying to fight each other while they were handcuffed. How the hell is that supposed to work? Have you ever seen giraffes fight when they <laughs> get their necks? Like, like seriously, they were just and like and me and the copper, me and the copper just I'm like, dude, let him do it. And he's like, I am. I'm like <laughs> fucking great. And this was back, I mean, but shit, this was back before I had a phone with a camera on it so it's just like oh my god it's all mental memory (laughs) great oh my god that would have been perfect just like this is gonna get me a million views (laughs) oh hell yeah like i i don't really get to i get a lot of stupid questions i don't know if you're snapping at me no, 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 no. I'm just 
You don't need that much. Yes, he does. Come on. Yeah. Do I'm it. Hanging. Do it anyway. All right. You get a lot of stupid questions. Sorry to interrupt. A lot of stupid questions, calls. I mean, at AAA, it's my car won't start. You got to put it in park. That helps. <laughs> um, or my favorite one to date was I get there and the ladies standing there and I'm like, what's going on? She's like, I don't know, a thousand years old or some shit. <laughs> and she's sitting there pressing her remote. Click, click. And there's chirp, chirp, chirp. She's like, it's chirping, but it won't unlock. I'm like, well, let me try. I'm like, chirp. I'm like, and I look at her. She looks at me. She's like, what is it? And I turn around and I was like, this your car? Yeah. Why are you trying to get into this car? <laughs> but the thing is, it was a different make. It was a different model. <laughs> it was a different color. She's trying to get into a white Honda Accord. Or she she owns the white Honda Accord. Yeah. And trying to get into a red Hyundai Sonata. Oh, my God. Like a newer Hyundai Sonata. She was driving like an 05 Accord. I'm like, honey, yours isn't even close to as shiny as this one. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> She's dreaming. And then you get the one, the ones where it's not in park. I'm like, it won't start. I'm like, we'll put it in park. <laughs> like, you know what? Fine. But you know what? I want you to tow it anyway because my brake light's on and I need this shit fixed. And my kryptonite is old women swearing. I fight everything in my being not to laugh when they start cussing around me because it's so fucking funny. <laughs> yes. It's like, and she was like, oh, she was probably in her 70s. She's like, okay, fine, I'm fucking stupid. It wasn't in park, but I need you to take it to the shop because the brake light's on. I'm like, There you go. What did you do? Like, took the parking brake off. The light comes on. And started, you're in the fucking. How long has that been on? She's like three days. I'm like, oh my god, you've been driving around for three days like, with the your, fucking e brake on. Has been driving weird? She's like, it. It comes to a stop really hard when I let off the gas. I'm like, no fucking shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, have you been smelling anything weird? Because, you know, you're burning your goddamn brakes out. Oh, my God. Like, you got chrome wheels, and the back ones look like you painted them black. How many calls have you gotten about people locking their keys in their car? 13 and a half, 13 and a half was, years of doing it, man. I was going to say, can't count that high, right? The worst one of those I did, though, was when I locked the keys into the tow truck. Ooh. I must have hit the button with my arm. It was the manual button, and I must have hit it when I was getting out. Shut the door, went and talked to the customer, got the car pushed out into the street, walked back over to the truck. Whoops. I looked down at the toolbox, and I was like, your lockout kit's in the back seat of the truck. Fuck it. Like, I go knock on the guy's door again. He's like, what's up? And I was like, I need a wire coat hanger. He's like, what? He's like, yeah, just give me the fucking coat hanger. So he gives it to me. I was like, this <laughs> most thinnest wired coat hanger. He's like, what am I going to do with this, man? I had to go back to his house, knock on the door. He's like, I need to use your phone. He's like, 
this is your first day? I was like, no. I said, but everything I need is inside the truck right now. <laughs> I, just, I would have said yes. <laughs> like, yep, it was a very, very humbling call. Mm. Hey, it's me. What's going on? Lock the keys in the tow truck. Don't unlock it. Uh, I need somebody to come unlock it so I can get my my lockout kit out of the back, and then I'll unlock it. <laughs> <laughs> Just send a damn truck. Right. That's like I'm not locking, proud of it. That's like you lock one set of keys inside the car, and the other set of keys is locked in your house with the house key. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. Yep. Oh, I got keys. God. I got keys hidden all over the place now. Right? Yeah. The, my wife and I do too. There was there was one instance we were actually. Um, I mean, I'll say it's my fault just because she she says it's my fault, so I'll just say it's my fault. <laughs> we had, I think we had, we had just gone grocery shopping, right? Yeah, we had just gone grocery shopping. Everything was at, like we had the card out there and everything was packed in the trunk and uh the the doors will automatically lock if you if you leave them closed too long. The keys were right on the friggin' driver's seat. Were they in the Oh yeah, yep, they were in the trunk. That's right cuz the yeah, the keys were set down inside the trunk so that we could re arrange it with all the groceries and then we closed it. And there it goes. So we had to call up our friends who knew where our uh, emergency house key was. And we're like, hey, can you go in and grab our spare car keys and meet us here? And they like, they lived all the way on the other end of town, just like we did. So they had to go a few miles to get to our house and then all the way across town to meet us so we could get in our fucking car and go home. Yeah, it was fun. But that would have been like, you know, calling a locksmith if we had to, but thankfully our other set of keys and our friends were available. Yeah, but when you gotta get especially if it's like one of the newer keys where the remote's built into it or even the key fobs. Like you're yeah. Three, four hundred bucks easy just to get that damn thing replaced. Yeah. We only yeah, have one key to my wife's car, and I'm like, you better not fucking break this because I haven't gotten a new one made yet. Yeah. I know, like the keys with the chips in it. Um one of my uh one of my dumb friends went and got a a, new, a newer car. He had never had one of those chip keys and fobs before. He went and got a car. And he was so proud of the car. And I even told him, I was like, look, you're going to want to get a second key. It's going to be expensive, but it's going to be worth it. And if you ever lock that damn thing in the car, you don't want them coming, you know, shattering the lock on you. Then you have to replace the whole fucking thing. Just get another one. And then he calls me up and he was like, you know, he's like, I got that second key, but it wasn't as expensive as you thought. You know, it was a couple of bucks at Walmart. I was like, dude, tell me you didn't use that to start your car. Please tell me I caught you and you didn't use that to start your car because you will fry it. Do not. Yeah. You're talking like a $400 replacement key versus a you know, few thousand dollar repair on your fucking car when you fry the computer with the wrong key. Thankfully, I caught him. He called me up and he was like, yeah, it was only like three bucks at Walmart. I got a really cool Star Wars key. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Star Wars is about to ruin your car. It's about to ruin your car. Don't do that shit. Even you know I what? do that, and I don't know anything about cars. Put 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 it on your rear view mirror to remind you. Yeah, <clears throat> for real. Like the 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 main mirror that you look at, the main place you look at inside your car. Do not forget your keys. Put it up there somewhere. <laughs> Check for okay. your keys. Uh, after after <laughs> I've I've learned I've learned like I don't even use like I get a free membership through work and I use it for random people throughout my day it's like I don't even use it 
Right. My wife's like, you got to quit doing that. What if we need it one day? I'm like, I can, I, I know somebody. Right. Like, don't worry. I know a guy who knows a guy. <laughs> she called me up one day. She's like, my battery's dead. I was like, okay. What do I do? Like, nothing. Stay there. Okay. But hang on a minute. <laughs> hey, and I need a favor. Send a battery truck out to this address. Change the battery out. Yeah, go into the animal hospital and get the key from her. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Hit right. <laughs> She's texting me. She's like, what am I supposed to do? Like, Just chill. They're on their way. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, those are some of the funnier ones. But I've had, I've had some bad ones, too, especially at that other company. Like, in the scary thing, like, like, you're rolling up on scene and there's, you know, the body with the thing over the top of it and right in the middle of the road, just like, look, I've run up, I've run up. I I came across a bad accident in my personal car one night after going out to the bar, we were on our way to Walgreens and got car smashed up right in the middle of the intersection. And then there's an SUV upside down over here. I run over to his car. He's fucking gone. I run back over to the SUV, it's flipped over, I open the door, there's a fucking car seat sitting right there, I'm like, there's nothing in it, I was like, thank God, right, crawl in there, and she's like, hello, and I was like, don't fucking move, I was like, do you know what happened, I was in an accident, I was like, all right, relax, it's like, I can't move you, because I don't think you're supposed to, right, the 911's been called. I'm going to stay with you. She's like, call my husband. I was like, okay. Call him up. I'm like, hey, dude, my name is this. I'm with your wife. She got in an accident, flipped her car, and you need to get down here. Right. Where are you at? I was like, I'm here. And he's like, what the fuck is she doing way over there? How's the car? I'm like, don't oh, fuck yourself, dude. Get your ass down here. <laughs> right. Like, look, I just told you they were in an accident. You don't need to be asking all these stupid questions. Just get down here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I had one. Oh, that one was bad. I got I got on scene. There's a there's a body with the cover over it in the middle of the road. And I'm like, damn. And I was like, so we're we're towing this big red Dodge Ram, right? And he's like, no, I just need you to lift it up. I was like, Lift it up for what? He's like, there's a arm stuck in the spring. Oh. Yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. Go over there and just. Oh, delicious. The sad thing is, like, over the many years that I've been doing this, like, it didn't take me very long to become completely desensitized from it. Yeah. Like, it's just like, yeah, cool. All right. Then they, like when uh, <coughs> Irma hit and Katrina hit and all that stuff, and they're like, yeah. we're sending trucks out there to help them clear everything out. And uh, all these new guys are like, fuck yeah, let's go. Let's do this. I'm like, you know, you don't want to go, dude. Yeah. You, you don't want to go. It's like, dude, it's like old, you know, unlimited hours and they pay you per the per the vehicle and you don't have to take care of it. You just drag it up on the truck, you shake it off when you and like bro, there's fucking people in these cars that you want to go pick up. Like you don't realize that, but there's bodies out there that they haven't found yet that you're gonna fucking find. Yeah. And if you, if you're not sure, I was like, it's total P PTSD. Like yeah. that shit will fuck with you. Yeah. Going out there all excited being like, oh, this one's going to be easy. And then you open up that front door and there's a yeah. fucking body in there waiting for you. Like, yeah. We're not talking like adult. We're talking like all sizes of bodies. Yeah. It's not something that. I don't think you're thinking this through. Like, well, did you go do it? And I was like, no, 
I didn't because I didn't know how I would take it. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's the camping episode. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a conversation I was not going to interrupt by saying, oh, hey, hang on, it's SpongeBob. No, oh. that was... That wasn't really a part of the conversation where I could, you know, in, insert something like that. Like, oh, hey, on, on a side note to seeing dead bodies, it's SpongeBob, the camping episode. Go ahead. <laughs> Sounds like a good episode. <laughs> it might be, it might even be right up there with the one where he ripped his pants. There you go. Oh, all right. Huh? I'm not eating anything. I'm moving all my stuff. So my phone is about to die. So I'm going to say goodbye. But dude, it was fucking awesome having you on. I know yep. that your windows are short. So um, we should definitely plan this again. Yeah. But yeah. I, uh, I've i laughed on a few of these. Not on all of them, though. This one was fun. Good. You, you did more talking on this one. Oh, my ear died. Hang on a second. Where the hell does go? <coughs> Hang on. Here's where it gets weird. There we go. My ear decided to die. Fucking every time. Yeah, you actually did. You did more talking on this one than than I did. And it's usually the other way around because people don't always know what to say. But you had some really cool stories, so that, that helped. This one is way easier than doing Facebook or TikTok Live. Jesus Christ, I suck at those. I'm... Well, yeah, I mean, you're by yourself, and all you're doing is responding to people talking yeah. if they're talking. And if they're not talking, then you're just staring at the screen like, is anyone there? Like, hi, how What's are you? What's doing today? Right? A random name pops up and you're just like, oh, hi. And then they don't respond. Oh, okay, bye. What yep. am I supposed to say? Like, That's why I never did the lives because I never do anything of interest anyway. So it's not like I can do a live and then just do my stuff and then just ignore people's comments. Right. Um, like I, if I'm not talking to whatever's scrolling up the screen, then I may as well not be there. Right. So yeah, man. This was awesome. I'll definitely have you on again. Get deeper this, into them crazy stories. This is going on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I post them up um, uh, once a week on Saturday. That might become more frequent because you're actually like number 16. Um, I've only posted four. So like I just started doing this a month ago. Um, so it's every Saturday that I'm posting up. But if if the guest spots keep piling, I, I might have to do more than once a week. Cause like if I stay once a week right now, I'm good for the next four months <laughs> to, to, to just chill um, well, who, and start who, posting who, shit up. Who else you got signed up that I might know? Oh God. I had, um, I know I had the duet guy on, I had Jonathan on already. I think you know him. Um, I've been trying to get Joker. He won't respond, but he doesn't respond to anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God, who else have I had on? I had Golden Guns on. Uh, I had Vet with a beard on. He's a cool dude. Another beard guy. Him and I started talking about him getting sponsored uh, by Razor. Because he has a big beard. That was the running joke on that one. Can't believe you've never been sponsored by a razor company. Um, shit, I had toner, toner mooch on. Um, shit, that's a big long list. I'll have to go through them again. But, Is your YouTube the same as your? Uh, what's your YouTube handle? My YouTube is the the name that you see, Cameron. Okay. Yeah, it's not it's not Captain Fuckwit on there because I had I had my YouTube channel set up way before Captain Fuckwit was even my handle. I have 
I have already gotten the suggestion of changing it, but then YouTube is funky like that. If you change anything, then they, uh, they, they don't like it. Right. So I figured what the hell, like my face is on TikTok, My face is on here. People can make the connection that way. <laughs> well, look me up on there too. Same, same handle as TikTok. Scully. Deadbeard. Scully. All right. Deadbeard. Got it. Yeah. All right. I'm trying so, to um, transfer and everything over to IG and YouTube just because TikTok blows. Yes. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll send as a DM, I'll send my YouTube link if you want to go and subscribe there because then you can see the videos that I've already put up. You'll eventually see yours. But then if you subscribe there, then I can subscribe to you. Just, you know, do a do a swap. Right on. All right, man. Enjoy the hey, rest of your day. Go do nothing. Right? I am going to go do nothing right now. All right, brother. <laughs> All right, man. Later. Later.